Varda Sharma, editor, Newsband, Daily English Newspaper of Navi Mumbai, Thani, Panvel, Raikar and surrounding areas. Today we have the pleasure of uh, talking with two extraordinary Indian female sailors who recently made waves on the global stage with their remarkable achievements in offshore sailing. We have with us Payal Gupta, uh, who is a former Navy personnel renowned for her seafaring expertise and also Dhania Pailo, who is a passionate sailor and a filmmaker and a resident of Kargar, Navi Mumbai. They recently achieved a historic milestone as part of the all-female crew um, aboard Maiden in the Ocean Global Race 2023-24. They not only clinched the first prize in the race, but also spotlighted their advocacy for girls' education worldwide. So first of all, heartiest congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you much, Varda. <laughs> so, uh, Dania, we'll start with you. Please tell us first, I mean, how and what made you to be a part of this uh, all-female crew member, I mean, uh, aboard Maiden, and um, what was your reaction? How tough, how challenging was that? So, um, I've been sailing in Bombay and in different parts of India. There is a very small sailing community uh, for the last 20 plus years. And, uh, you know, we are always sailing around India, in India, in the lakes. And uh, it was always a dream to, you know, uh, be part of something that's uh, around the world because the ocean is so big and it connects all of us. And uh, it's just fantastic to have that opportunity. So when the opportunity came calling uh, through uh, also because we had a few Indian sailors who had... Uh, participated and attempted to participate in the Golden Globe race, which is a solo race around the world. Mm -hmm. So through that network, uh, they reached out and said, are there any Indian women sailors? And that is how Payal, me and a few other ladies had applied, you know, and then there was a selection process uh, where we sailed from Azores in Portugal to uh, Southampton. And uh, that was when the final selection list was kind of, you know, given out once we reached so it was a very cool uh, experience to also, you know, sail outside India uh, yeah. because the water is different. The boats are different. Um, the marine life is different. Uh, everything is different. So it's great experience for us. And it just broadens our horizon to, you know, uh, work towards more better sailing opportunities in India for more sailors in India, you know. And um, we have such a big coastline in India. Um, it's highly highly important that now we start respecting and uh, as well as using to the best ability the natural resources that we have, but also protecting it. Uh, yeah. Yes, that is really important. And Payal, can you please share your experience? How was it, you know, uh, being a part of the member, crew member, all female crew member and also winning the race? So how was your experience? So um, I would say I was really lucky to get uh, into this race because uh, I was in last year of my service and uh, I really wanted to do more of sailing after leaving Navy also. So I was looking for these opportunities and then found uh, about this Ocean Globe race through a Facebook post of one of the Indian sailor friends. And uh, then I applied for it got the visa and the leave from Navy and uh, went for the selection, got selected, participated in the first leg, got injured. <laughs> but it was uh, over and all, I would say it was a great experience because uh, for the first time I was sailing outside my country along with an international crew, which was a different experience because uh, you get to learn so many different things from people outside uh, because I have always sailed with the naval officers and naval fraternity. So, yeah, in that way, it was a kind of eye opener to me, like what all you can do in the world of sailing. And um, yeah, it's a, I think it's a beginning step, I would say, because I have just done one circumnavigation and there is so much more to explore. And uh, also, 
coming first out of 14 boats was a incredible experience because um, yeah it was an all girls boat and the only one with the uh, all girls team so we are kind of proud of ourselves because uh, we became the first one to do this and also the first two indians to represent in the vidbred race so that is Remark- like a remarkable uh, so what's it <laughs> I you say. feel that the training that you receive i mean uh, india in india and abroad is it very different i mean of course uh, pyle's been uh, very very uh, lucky to be part of the indian navy which navy, has yeah. excellent uh, training and resources for sailing and probably what really supports sailing in india but at the same time um, you know, in India, we are sailing only in good weather. In Internationally, they're sailing in all weather. And that is the learning we have, uh, is that we need to be sailing all around the year. Monsoon may we don't, you know, uh, we don't sail. Here. But uh, yeah. it's important for us to learn to sail, you know, even during monsoon when you have crazy storms and wind. So um, that's, that's that. But uh, otherwise, in the last 10, 15 years, I have noticed that... Uh, uh, Indian sailing and racing has improved so much. We are now uh, next month uh, also representing, uh, we have a few uh, sailors representing uh, sailing in the Olympics. Uh, and uh, that is something to look out for. Yeah. Uh, Payal, uh, so Indian women, you know, they are right, really venturing into many fields. But uh, sailors, Indian female sailors, I think still continue to be less uh, what is the reason for this in India? I'm talking about in India. Do you feel that uh, we do not have adequate facilities? And what needs to be done to change this scenario? Well, uh, yes, uh, I think that we do not have adequate uh, facilities. First of all, we do not have good marinas where uh, people can buy the boat and keep their boat safely. And uh, also, uh, sailing is an expensive sport. For a middle class Indian family, if they are looking into going into sailing, it's uh, it's need different because boats itself are so expensive and getting the repairs done and the stuff. So uh, you need kind of more, uh, I would say, funds from government or, or the sailing clubs, which are uh, basically providing uh, training since childhood, because that way it will be really good for the kids and uh, good for the kids as in they will learn the basics in a uh, early years so in that way um, otherwise i think sailing can be learned at any point of time because i started doing sailing after joining navy so there is no age limit actually for it and uh, yeah we actually need a lot of change in sailing fraternity and sailing uh, sailing world in india and uh, we need to grow really quickly to catch up with the other part of the world. <laughs> yeah. What do you feel, uh, Danya? I mean, do you feel that, uh, I mean, there is a lack of awareness also among uh, parents to send their children, you know, to be a part of the sailing and to sailing group? Do you feel that? Especially with regards to girls. Um, I feel uh, there's not enough visibility for sailing as a sport. So there is a general fear of the water. Uh, but uh, once they understand that you know you can do it in lakes you can do it in this way that way then it's much safer than driving on a road you know it's better to actually yeah. network all of India through the waterways because that will just like you know ease out on the traffic the second thing the second problem we have is uh, if you do buy a boat we have 150 percent tax custom duty that one has to pay so even if you buy small boats for training Mm -hmm. for young kids or even adults Mm -hmm. for olympic classes you are paying too much taxes because it goes under luxury i think it's time to remove that out of luxury and go into either sport or some other you know department because you don't okay you don't have to buy the boat you can even make boats in india you know we've had the technology and we have a huge maritime uh, history of uh, sailing so yeah. if we can bring all of that together if we can have museums uh, that talk about uh, you know our uh, you know the cat- catamaran uh, which is a double hulled boat actually the word comes from kerala yes. where the word katumaran kind of you know so we have so much history which is now you know used around the world and that needs to come together so 
uh, whether it is people doing it, whether it is, you know, just looking at our coastline that we have um, and improving the sporting culture that we have. These are what we need to do to really change the scene. And, you know, India is pretty international right now. So we should not stay back in any of these other things. Like even Navi Mumbai has the potential of having a marina uh, there is a potential of a harbor coming in, uh, you know, the Bombay Port Trust. So these are, um, if you look at the harbor itself, it's, you know, it's it's beautiful. Like, and if more people can just uh, see that and, you know, go to Elephant Caves or whatever, bom let Bombay be a starting point. But yes. there are other towns and villages and cities that could have little facilities uh, to have boating as a culture. Uh, Payal, this venture, there was another mission that you had been doing. I mean, uh, the whole uh, advocating for uh, women education uh, and empowerment. women. Right. So can you please tell us more about it? So um, the maiden factor is basically a non-governmental organization, which uh, actually helps kids and girls all over the world for their education, for their empowerment. So through this race, we were actually coll collecting donations and funds for the same. And there were like many organizations in, um, there's one in Mumbai, there's other one in um, Cape Town, and there are a few around the world which are connected to Maiden. And once uh, these funds are collected and uh, these donations are collected, they are uh, segregated to these uh, schools for the girls' education, maybe for the sailing, and uh, it is a really, uh, I would say, a good humbling effort from our side to just make it visible. And uh, more and more people got attention because they have, like, we, we had all women team. So it was much more effective to get the donations and uh, help more and more girl child to get the education. And I think uh, you start with that small step. Getting the education is the main part of uh, giving them uh, to pathway to success yeah then you know what next now what is your next project and is there any plan to you know uh educate or spread awareness uh, about you know the need to go and join sailing so how would you like to do it so uh, i mean uh, that's something i've been doing passionately for the last 10 years uh in india uh, i've been the honorary secretary for the top topper sailing association so these are like single person dinghies and we've been promoting that uh, in lakes and waterways around uh, uh, Bombay and India. And uh, it's a very simple boat. It takes you 15 minutes to learn. And uh, all ages and all sizes of people can uh, sail in it. So that is a starting point. Then we also organize sailing festivals, sailing races. I'm part of the yacht club. Uh, so we have races every weekend. And we are also training twice a year, thrice a year for uh, you know, young people or anybody who is sailing enthusiasts. And uh, yeah, I mean, so many things. Sailing, you can, your whole uh, year can go just sailing in different parts of India. But also, I've been compiling a book since uh, COVID time called Tell Tales. And it is short stories from different sailors from around the world. And a lot of Indian sailors, actually. Because I wanted to, uh, one, collect the stories because every sailor has a different adventure every time they sail and every adventure is a new learning it could be small it could be a big learning uh, most of it is very very positive um, but it just changes your perspective of how you even look at your own environment like I love Bombay even more because of the sailing you know I love Bombay anyways but now it's like even better <laughs> Uh, Payal, how about you? So what is next? I really want to sail more. So I'm looking for opportunities. Maybe um, I'll do some certifications and some stuff which can give me more opportunities. And uh, yeah, I want to do something more in India. So I'm trying to find out that. Thank you so much. Thank you both of you for joining us and giving us uh, your time. And we wish you all the best for your future and your work. Thank you and bye-bye. Thank bye -bye. you so much. Thank you bye -bye. so much for having us. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye. Yeah, it was nice chatting with you. Thank bye. you. Bye.